Hey everyone, Xenozuma here. Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, we built our very own rescue team base. Good morning, Xeno. It's the next day, and our rescue team base is still looking super cool. Seeing it all shiny and new makes me feel like it's a fresh start for us. Let's keep doing our best with our rescue work, Xeno. And now the story continues. First, like always, let's check our mail. New floor tiles. Turn down. Oh, this. This is important. Let's watch him. This. Oh, really? Belly rumbling, hungry. No, 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 no. I meant to press A. Munchlax hungry. You have food? Yes. Really? What kind of food? Show monk sacks. Show. Here, have an apple. V this apple. Munchlax's big favorite. Mmm, delicious. Munchlax satisfied. You go to Munchlax. Munchlax say thank you with this. You got a munch belt. This is a random event. Munchlax can do one of two things. He can, as you can tell, get hungry or drop apples. Dropping apples has multiple things that can happen. You can just ignore him and, well, you get nothing because he picks up the apples and runs away. You could take the apples for yourself, which, why? They're not that hard to find. Or you can give it back to Munchlax. In which case, after the first time he starts to give you other items, I believe. It's been a while. But that event, I actually have some... I actually am... Have some history about it. In the original game, in my copy, that is the only event I have not gotten. I'm dead serious. I've gotten, done everything else in the game, but get that event. So, I won't lie, I'm a little mad, especially in this game, and my personal file, considering in my personal file, it kept happening, he kept appearing, it got annoying, and I was so confused and weirded out. Okay, so... Okay, so this is not really good items. Well, there are good items, but they're just not useful for us in this dungeon. Anyways... Because of that event, it's the only thing that I have not actually gotten the log in the original game. This game, however, in my personal file, I've only got one thing and still have to do for badges and I'm not happy because <laughs> in the original game I at least managed to do that but how tedious it is has become now. Even with a method that I'm surprised Chugga A. Conroy did not I either, either does not know the bit about, or just doesn't realise how effective it is. I'm going to assume the latter, because he's usually pretty on the ball about stuff like that.
Anyways, how are you guys? I've been fine. <laughs> fine. I'm kind of excited for what's going to be soon coming. Soon coming to Switch. Shimming on my Tensei Free Nocturne. Because I got the power. Because I live in power regions. Ginver regions where a region where we have the power version. <laughs> that version is scuffed. Which I'm not, I'm kind of upset about. So, when that releases, this will be my first time actually, actually being able to complete the game. Though, meanwhile, while I'm not trying to not play this game too much so I don't burn out, I've been playing Enter the Gungeon. And if you guys have not seen it, it's actually quite a good game. I recommend it. I recommend it. It's got a lot of humor and it's honestly pretty good dungeon crawler. I think my only problem with it is just Kinda how uneven some of the bosses are. I know that probably makes no sense to you guys, but what I mean is that I feel like certain bosses in Into the Gungeon are harder than the bosses that are on the same, but you can also get on those floors. Like, I get it, it's not, you're, not all of them are going to be even, but I would expect at least there to be at least s s at least make sure that they're all relatively at the same difficulty, not Oh! Gatling Gull is really easy, yet the Trigger Twins in the Bullet King are actually can, can be kind of difficult. Or, in my opinion, the Beholster and the Gorgon being jokes, and certain if you have certain if you get a decent setup, but the Amoconda always being absolute hell. Honestly, the Amoconda is just annoying to deal with. Oh great, we've got some flora. Okay, sales pitch is actually kind of a good ability. Yeah. Granted, I wish it wasn't on some flora. Uh, but no, but no, really, Gungeon is great are than those small problems, and really, they really are small problems. But then again, I'm the kind of guy who really likes, who likes hard games from now and then, as long as they portray the challenge more of, yeah, this is possible to dodge, as long as you just aren't an idiot. And not, we'll fire a lot of bullets on screen, see if you can dodge all this. Which, while those type of bullets are sometimes fun, I'd rather it just be a bit more fair. Oh, please be get. Nope, we didn't get bonds like, damn it. Right, I still have not even told you guys what the invitation does, but we can't even talk about that because we haven't seen it. Seen what it's needed for.
But yeah, Gungeon's fantastic. I recommend you buy it. I recommend you play it. I've not played Exit the Gungeon, though. I've played, only played Enter. Granted, that game is not really friendly to people j trying to learn games like that. It really is not. <laughs> no, but... Granted, I guess I can actually think of another problem I have with it. Where if you just... You can just get... Just, you can just have a sucky setup. Up, and there's just no way to win. Well, just... Fight is taking so long, and I think that's another problem I don't that I don't like about Gungeon. Like, if you get a high powerful weapon near the beginning, you're set. You don't need to worry worry about it, about anything, and you can just really go all out. I very really, but if you don't, you're stuck. Just doing basically no damage. Which is kind of upsetting, honestly. I'm just trying to think what else to talk about because there really isn't much else to talk about. Oh, actually, there probably is actually. Well, that's what I would be saying if I didn't. Uh, I guess I could just talk about what I'm. Since I probably don't think I've done it in the previous episodes, what I think about new Pokemon Snap. Uh. I think it's honestly great, but there are some things where I'm like, yeah, that's way too obtuse and too finicky to try and get that to work. Like, again, the best pictures of certain Pokemon just, I feel like they don't, didn't need to be as, uh... How do I talk, explain it? I didn't think I didn't think they need to be as specific. Like I believe Swampert, you need like two or three different Pokemon to be able to even get the best picture of it. Which while I'll, I'll talk about what I just thought later, but so but like while it's interesting, it's also so tedious where I don't feel like feel like it's worth it, which is a shame because I really think that the game otherwise does capture the feel of the original Pokemon Snap really well. But anyways. I might as well talk about what I had going from my head there. Uh, seeing sales pitch on Bonsai, I immediately started 
imagining Bonds like crying when just not getting his way in the sales pitch when trying to make a sales pitch. I don't know why that just that that just makes me laugh. Or then the only other thing that makes me laugh more is when I end up getting a slack off with sales pitch and also a slack off with Oh what's the other skill that just makes you just get better deals in shops? Whatever that one is. That one always makes me laugh because I just imagine Jin, like Kecklin, trying to haggle with Slackoff, but Slackoff's too sl just just too lazy to just try and argue back. So it's like, so it's until Kecklin agrees to whatever deal Slackoff makes. Slowpoke is also a really good one. To get stuff like that, because just. Just that, just the image, just the image implants, implants in your mind. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that it goes straight for items instead of the stairs. I know I can change it, but... Yes. Yes, keep all these Pokemon because they're not in the camps. Nope. <laughs> and if you don't have the statue of bonsai, you won't ever be able to recruit bonsai. <laughs> and we get a ton of money basically. I don't know why that went allowed us to go up to 150. <laughs> why specifically that mission? I'm not confused why that mission was specifically. That is a mission I would have thought would have been 150. Why is that 150? I don't get the scoring system sometimes in this game. Yes, yeah, call it night and get some rest. Next morning. Oh no, it's not. I thought there would have been something and I would have been like, yeah, we'll find out what happens next time. So, we at least... Oh, the ultimate dungeon. We'll be talking about that, but I will not be doing that because uh, I done that once. I don't ever want to do that again. Okay. But next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, well, we'll continue doing missions honestly because 
that's all there really is to it. This is Zeno and Azuma, signing out.